Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anybody else who comes along and sees this video. Today is Saturday, July the 25th, and it's 9.20 a.m. Okay, I wanted to give you an update on that story I reported from, um, oh, what's her name? Let me pull it down. Hard News TV 2 about the apartment building that was locked down in California. Well, something that she did not report, <clears throat> or maybe it wasn't in her report, is that this was a senior citizen's facility. Now, does that change your mind? If your mom or grandma was a resident there and you found out that one person tested positive there, would you think this was okay? Now I want to read you this natural news and no, I'm not going to stop reading it. Some person told me they're not reliable because this man, this man who writes natural news is the one who started Brighty on so people could have a freedom of speech. And yes, he sells health products. That's how he pays for such a large website where people can go and not have to pay to put their freedom of speech videos up. They do ask for uh, you to ask your subscribers for a dollar or two or three, but I think that goes to each person. But underneath every ad, every video, there's some kind of ad for a t-shirt or a health product. So what? In natural news, it says, California imprisons 78 people in their own apartment building over COVID. Now, this is how the natural news people put it. And if it's not in here, let's see. All right, it says, we have a red alert exclusive story today. Well, now, I received this July 22nd. And today's the 25th. Gosh, I'm kind of behind, aren't I? I did receive it the 22nd. Okay, we have a Red Alert exclusive story today documenting how California has imprisoned 78 people, mostly disabled and elderly, in their own apartment building, forcing mandatory COVID-19 testing and a mandatory lockdown upon them. The residents' key cards were deactivated. That should be period. The security guards were placed on all the entrances and exits. Now, how much is that costing them? All residents were forced into mandatory COVID-19 tests. This China-style lockdown took place in Ventura County. Now, when you click on the link, you see the posting, Exclusive California Apartment Building Lockdown Under Mandatory Quarantine of All Residents. You might be saying, why are you making a big deal out of this? Well, if you don't understand, it starts at one place and goes to another and then to another. But I have good news. Just hold on. Okay. I'm not just repeating the same story. All the key cards deactivated. Security guards posted at entrances during the lockdown. Lockdown is put in quotes. Now all that is in great big letters. Uh, it's like a title and subtitle. All right. Now, this was written Tuesday, July the 21st by Mike Adams. He's the guy that started Brighty on. Residents of an, uh, by natural news, 
Residents of an apartment building in Ventura, California, found themselves prisoners in their own homes as they were locked down in their own apartment buildings and subjected to mandatory COVID-19 testing and quarantine restrictions. Okay, the, I'm going to skip down to... Okay, well, it says Natural News has acquired a letter that was sent by the property manager to all 78 residents of the seven-story apartment building. That's what we are, seven stories. Which is located at 137 South Palm Street in the city of Ventura, California. The building caters to seniors and disabled residents and is government subsidized housing. We have confirmed the authenticity of this letter, which is shown below with certain redactions to protect the names of the property managers who are being subjected to threats. The letter warns that all residents of the building are ordered to appear at the Palms Community Room to participate in mandatory testing for COVID-19 on July the 17th, 2020, which was last Friday, it states. That would have been a week ago yesterday. All residents residing at 137 South Palm must be tested for COVID-19 virus. After testing has been completed, all residents must quarantine in their unit until test results are received. Now, why are they so concerned that these people might get sick? Do they not think they're smart enough or family members that look in on them if they're that old? Uh are not smart enough to call a doctor and say, hey, my mother's got a fever and a dry cough. Do you think she should be tested if they're like, you know, let's just say not YouTube watchers and all they watch is mainstream media? What difference does it make? And it's not the property managers who made this decision. They wanted people to know that. They're being threatened, but it's not them who made the decision. All right, I'll continue. In other words, the 78 residents of the building were ordered to subject themselves to COVID-19 tests against their will and then were essentially held prisoner in their apartments. The letter continues. Effective immediately, the Palms building has been placed on lockdown. Well, we were on lockdown, but if you weren't in skilled nursing or um, assisted living, you could go out if a family member wanted to pick you up and take you somewhere, other places that were open, like maybe to their house. As long as you wore a mask, and I don't even remember them stressing the mask back in the beginning. But anyhow, I'll move on. The letter further explains, Except for essential workers, no one will be able to enter or exit the building during the lockdown. Now that was true here too. In addition, security personnel will be posted on all entrances of the building, 24 hours, 7 days a week, the letter says. All resident card keys will be deactivated during the lockout. So if you left your apartment to go in the common area, and it says nothing about even with a mask or anything, or keeping your distance, you wouldn't get back into your apartment if you pulled the door shut. In essence, 
78 American citizens were imprisoned in their own apartment building in Ventura, California in a China-style medical prisoner crackdown scenario. However, there is more to this story. It also, and it also involves Ventura County, which actually initiated this lockdown. See below. Here's the full letter with the names and phone numbers of the property managers blacked out. We are withholding the name of the property manager who signed this letter because she is reportedly being hit with aggressive threats from many angry people. Once you read the letter she sent to building occupants, you might also experience anger and frustration. So I don't, I'm not going to read it. It's basically stating what I just told you. All right. <laughs> Listen to this. One resident called the police and declared he had been kidnapped. <laughs> Good for him. According to local sources, the letter was distributed to building residents in parallel with the county of Ventura, declaring the building to be under a quarantine lockdown. Now, I always thought that a quarantine lockdown was when you had sick people that you needed to take them to a hospital and quarantine them in the quarantine area. I mean, they have taken this thing so far out of normal. It's ridiculous. And yet, this is the new normal. Have you heard that? Yeah, I'm sure you have. According to the local sources, this notice from the Ventura County Public Health Agency was received on Friday, July 17th at 6 p.m. And it described an enforced mandatory quarantine for the entire building. So basically, our second and third floor residents have been held under quarantine. And what amazes me is that if it is so bad, how come the ones that actually got the COVID here didn't go to the hospital? You know why? It wasn't that bad. And they treated them here. Second floor and the third floor have their own doctors that come in once a week. More often if they need to, I suppose. Or the nurses call. It appears the enforcement order came from the county of Ventura. The property manager had been working to alert the residents of the building to the fact that Ventura was about to demand the quarantine lockdown status until all building occupants were forced into mandatory COVID-19 testing. Now, now, you might think that's not a big deal, but just listen. One resident reportedly became so frustrated that he called the police and declared that he had been kidnapped and was being held against his will, and that's exactly what was happening. But do you, it's like, if you listen to um, Terry Lynn on that other video that I shared yesterday, she goes on to say, okay, right now it's this one apartment building. No wonder it's senior citizens and disabled people. They don't tend to be all rebellious, you know, because it's hard for them to be. But she said, what about when the tanks start rolling down the road and they come knocking at your door to do the same thing? Then how will you feel? All right. It says four residents. Wait a minute. I missed something. Ventura County rescinded the mandatory quarantine order 
on Tuesday, July 21st, after the mandatory test results were received. Four residents out of 78 tested positive for COVID-19, according to the test results. Those four individuals are being ordered to self-quarantine for 14 days and are being monitored by the Public Health Department of Ventura County. Ventura County was initially alerted to the building by one resident testing positive during routine intake testing at the hospital. So it sounds like one person went to the hospital probably for some procedure. They were having routine testing like they do a CBC. Uh, they might test your kidney function and some other things. And in answering the questions, which I had to when I went to see... Um, Oh, the hematology nurse I uh, had to answer um, when she ordered some x-rays. Uh, have you been in contact uh, with anybody in the last 21 days that you know have had COVID? And that, that was like question one. And there were like five or six questions, you know, routine testing. Well, that person must have answered yes to one thing and or they were found to have a fever, tested their blood, maybe their white blood cells were elevated, whatever. They found one person had it because they came from Ventura County. They, um, that building, Ventura County was then notified of that patient and their home address which the county then linked to all the other residents in the same building. It appears this led the county to ultimately demand the quarantine lockdown. It is important to note that the building property managers did not initiate this quarantine lockdown. That was done by Ventura County, it appears the property managers were merely alerting residents to what Ventura County had communicated. It seems likely the property managers could have done a better job of explaining this in their letter. However, possibly avoiding... I read that wrong. It, it seems likely... The property managers could have done a better job of explaining this in their letter, however, possibly avoiding some of the backlash they are now experiencing. California now resorting to China-style mass house arrests tactics. Okay, now this is another subtitle. What this confirmed, what this confirmed incident reveals is that at least one major county in California is now resorting to China style tactics that smack of medical tyranny and violations of fundamental human rights. It appears the residents at 137 South Palm Street were in fact held as prisoners in their own homes. Yeah, when you put a guard at every door and exit, yeah, you're being held prisoner. You can't even step out front. Now, see, I don't smoke. I hope none of y'all do. But if, if you're one of these people that have to have a cigarette every now and then to calm your nerves and I mean, this is a nervous kind of situation for a lot of people, you know. It's, oh my gosh, somebody here had it and we've all been exposed. They might have thought that. That's how people here have acted. Where's your mask? Why don't you have a mask on? You know, and they're freaking out there for a while, they were. And then they realized, 
that things were being exaggerated. I don't know how they calmed down, honestly. Okay. Maybe because they saw some employees not wearing them. Most of them do now. Don't get me wrong. Just a few. Denied the ability to leave the building and forced into mandatory testing against their will. In effect, the building became a kind of mini FEMA camp for about four days. And that's the truth. During which the residents of the building apparently had few rights. We are told that the building property managers organized call-in checks to make sure every resident was called each morning to see if they had any urgent needs that weren't being met such as food, medical supplies, etc. It's not clear who exactly was involved in making these checkup calls. Hmm. All this begs the question, though, since when did the residents at this building sign any document waiving their constitution constitutional rights as Americans. Under what authority are people now held prisoner in their own homes and ordered to subject themselves to flawed medical tests that may cause them irreparable financial harm and health harm if the results are incorrect? Now, here's the big punchline merely testing positive for COVID-19 can result in people being subjected to lockdowns job discrimination not sure how that plays in but whatever social discrimination and long-term medical hassles merely for having a COVID-19 positive test result on their record. Well, I guess I do. If you needed a job and you went and applied and they called for your medical records and it said this patient, uh, this person tested positive for COVID, that might hamper their ability to work there. In the building mentioned here, 74 out of 78 residents tested negative, praise God, yet they were subjected to medical tyranny, lockdown, and mandatory tests nonetheless. So they clearly weren't sick. People who test positive even if the results are false, may also be subjected to hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical costs. I don't know how exactly that would come about if they had no symptoms, even when they never had COVID-19 in the first place. And if they are unlucky enough to be placed on a ventilator, that may even that might be they may even be killed by doctors and hospitals who collect extra funds for each COVID nineteen death they experience. Yeah, if you put COVID nineteen on the death certificate and they're a Medicare uh, recipient, you get. $39,000 instead of $19,000. That, that this sort of draconian lockdown is now happening in the United States of America is a stark warning for all Americans. None of us are safe while the COVID-19 tyrants are in power. Now this is now. And, and it goes on. It goes on and on. So I will leave a link. 
And you can read it all if you want. It has pictures of the building. It shows you a street view. I guess that's like Google Maps. Palm Street. East Santa Clara Street. Santa Clara. I'm thinking that's where my brother lives. But anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter where it is. It's the beginning. What will you do? I mean, it could happen here. If our governor decides, oh yeah, all our senior care facilities, anybody test positive, they all need to be tested. So far, that hasn't happened here because we have people. But this place does not have skilled nursing, and it just has sounds to me like independent living. They had no right doing this to them. We haven't been locked down to the point where we couldn't leave. The patients, the residents who who smoke have a smoking section and they can go outside and go to it and they don't stalk them and make sure they're not talking to anybody driving through anyway I'm going to end this here I wanted to give you an update that at least these people were only under lockdown for four days but they all had to be tested what was the reason for this to get them tested? Was there somebody in that building? They wanted their DNA? Hmm. See, now that's a possibility. I think they want to know all of our DNA. They have plenty of mine. If they ever wanted to know, I think... I don't know. I don't know how it works if you get lab work done how they would possibly get your stuff but the government's so big they're too big for their britches with that I'll say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection myself my computer and each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections and with that I will say bye for now I will talk to you later.